I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good Tuesday morning, Brahmins. Welcome back. Lots of things happening this week. First of all, if you have been on quarantine and you're just coming back to campus, I'm sure most of you are feeling the same feeling of overwhelming, I don't know where to start because now you're down to nine days left in the nine weeks. So here's your list of priorities. You need to work on that missing work. Some of the stuff that's given to you via Schoology, you know, you can do at home, but then there are other things like tests and quizzes that have to be completed in the classroom. So your first priority is to take care of those missing assignments that had to be completed with your teacher. The second thing on your list of priorities is preparing for your nine weeks test that are happening next week. Um, so uh, your schedule here on main campus will start on Tuesday. And on Tuesday, you'll have math and history. On Wednesday, you're gonna have your English classes and CTE. And on Thursday, you will have fine arts and science. So electives, I haven't been given any information about electives um, giving um, any nine weeks test. So um, that's a good thing for you, but you do have three days next week where you're going to have tests on, on each of those days. So just make sure that you are taking the time needed to prepare. We also have this little thing called tutoring that happens every Tuesdays and Thursdays. So if you need some extra help, if you need somebody to sit down with you as you're trying to get caught up, stay today if you have a ride home. If you drive, you can stay for tutoring today. We just need we're trying to provide opportunities so that you can get caught back up before the end of the nine weeks, which is next Friday, nine days from now. All right, what else do we have? Hey guys, let's talk SAT day tomorrow. Seniors, it is extremely important. For those seniors that are taking this, as soon as you get here, do not be late tomorrow. As soon as you get here before seven o'clock, you need to report to the bus loop. Mr. Stewart is going to start shuttling students over to IRSC. Once he gets a full bus, bus load, we'll get you guys over there early so that you can get settled in. You have a lot of time tomorrow to work through that. So remember seniors, you need to get to school on time tomorrow and you need to be at the bus loop by no later than seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. so Mr. Stewart can get you guys out of here. Yeah. Juniors, we will be calling you out at about 7.15. Once everybody gets in the class and gets settled in, Miss Katie will do the all call like we do for every other testing day, and you guys will be released to your um, testing rooms. Those were sent out yesterday, so hopefully your teachers have shared that. Um, sophomores, remember, you guys are just going about your normal day. If you go to a room, because maybe you forget that one of your teachers is testing SAT, and you see the sign on the door, do not knock, sophomores. Did you hear me? Don't knock on that door. You know who's testing. You know if your teacher is testing, go straight to the lecture hall. If you have any questions, find one of us in the hallways. Seniors that are not testing, same for you guys. You should know what teachers are helping us tomorrow and which ones are not. And tomorrow, seniors, there's also an opportunity for you to go out to the football field to um, the track in order to visit with IRSC, they're gonna have a career fair for you guys. So we're really excited about everything tomorrow. Yeah, Mr. Brown came over yesterday and kind of went over what he'd like to do. Mr. Brown's a provost at Indian River College and he came over and, and we, we took a look at the track. So we've got uh, a lot of good people coming over again. They're gonna showcase some of their programs, nursing, uh, welding, cosmetology. They also added a law enforcement uh, section. So if you're interested in going into law enforcement, be able to, you'll be able to ask some questions there. Financial aid people will be there to talk with you about that. So it's going to be a good, a good 
thing for those of you who want to go to Indian River. There's going to be a lot of information there for all of you seniors who are not testing. Uh, we'd like for you to come. Second period, if your name begins with A through H, you will come out to the tra uh, track. Third period, if your name begins with I through P, you'll come out to the track. And fourth period, if you are a Q through Z, you will come out to the track. Your teachers have this information. So again, if you, if you get stuck, ask them. Uh, finally, softball tonight here at home, senior night. If you're coming, buy your tickets at ticketspicket.com. And don't forget to bring your mask. Yes, don't forget to bring your masks. Um, I had a great time watching softball last night. The girls pulled out the victory six to four. Um, so it's, it's always nice to see them back on the field. Missed that last year. Um, <clears throat> Just a reminder, I know seniors turned in those scholarship packets just last week. Um, talk to freshmen here for a minute. The, that's the culmination of four years of work in that packet. And part of that work includes um, community service hours. Um, it's a requirement for Bright Futures scholarships, but it also looks great on a resume for local scholarships. Shows your commitment to your community. Um, here's an opportunity that I <coughs> caught on Facebook. They are looking for volunteers for the fair, who doesn't want to go work at the fair? That sounds like a great time. Um, and so it, it says to message them um, on Facebook, look for um, Okeechobee County Fair Association um, Incorporated, INC, and um, send them a message if you would like to um, help out. It says all hours available. So um, that's during spring break. So you guys should have some free time. Go ahead and start working on those community service hours um, if you need that more information, um, that's all I have. That's all that was posted on Facebook. But I think um, the guidance at high school guidance department of the high school shared that. So I'm sure Ms. Sills, Ms. Brewer can, or Ms. Wagner can get you more information if you need it. Ms. Smith. Quick reminder students, tomorrow is SAT day at OHS. So freshmen, make sure you come to the freshman campus. All freshmen come to the freshman campus. Um, do not miss your bus because the Uber will not be running. Um, students, when you are on freshman campus, when you have a CTE course or a course that would be at the high school, Coach Ingram, you will report to the gym. All other courses will report to the auditorium, okay? Um, I will try to announce that periodically throughout the day so you don't forget, um, but that is the format for Wednesday. We'll also have a PBIS event at the end of the day. In order to attend, you must pay 10 ramen bucks. So make sure you're showing pride for this last day before um, the PBIS event so you can earn ramen bucks. Um, we look forward to having a good time. Um, and I think that is it for us here at Freshman Business. All right, seniors, don't forget to check your email and all call, email, phone call, text message went out last night. I'm giving you ordering information about that senior panoramic picture that's happening next Friday. At 1015, we need all seniors on campus. Um, if you want to participate in that picture, all ordering is online. So get into that email, get the link and the code to be able to order your parent picture. All right, together we move forward. And be great. Be ramens. All day. All day.